Hi guys, today I wanted to make a video about the Chinese tea shop scam. Under all these leaves, I could imagine there'd be a dead body. Damn it. <gasps> I hope not. Just want to get to the beach. The reason I want to make this video is, having come to the Philippines, I've actually put myself in a couple situations where I've made myself vulnerable due to my, my ignorance and just having faith in people, which actually proved to be not a stupid thing here in the Philippines. People actually, to my surprise, have been more than welcome and helpful. And I've been offered to be accompanied many times, which has made amazing experiences. But back to the Chinese tea shop scam. I went to China in 2013 as part of the Study China program. I was learning language and I had a few other classes around like Chinese business or history, stuff like that basically. Along with a load of UK like students at the time. And we'd have like afternoons off to like roam into like the city. This was Shanghai by the way. And I was with like Jacek, this other kind of Polish English guy. And we went into the center just at the time, just look around like and sightsee, like you know what like normal tourists do. And they'll these two Chinese girls which to our naivety came up to us and were like hey guys can you take a picture of us in front of the beautiful like skyscraper um, that wasn't how they sounded but you get my impression this was a really great ploy for what happened later so we took the picture of them and then they came back to us like all like innocent like oh we've just taken the picture oh yeah we're just students sightseeing at summer uh what are you guys up to you know just kind of very conversational and like when we're on a holiday you obviously like you in your head you're like you're thinking like okay i should be like open-minded trying to get to the locals you know just kind of you know experience the holiday kind of thing right i remember them saying i remember there was a few red flags they were like oh they're students but then they were like, oh, we're working kind of thing, like throughout the conversation. But because you don't really know them, you kind of just look for the positives, especially when you're like a 20 year old naive kid, right? And you're like, oh, this is gonna be, he, they're gonna be our friend. So they offered to take us back to their tea shop after like the quick conversation. It was really well performed actually. They're like, oh, should we go for a drink kind of thing? Oh, we, you know, you get the impression like we're having so much to talk about. We're both students, you're from China, we're from like the West, the UK. There's so much to talk about. We could compare and stuff. I don't know, etc. So we go to the coffee shop. Sorry, not the coffee shop, the tea shop, right? There's tea shops everywhere. Coffee isn't such a big thing over there. And I, I do love herbal tea. And at the time, I really wanted to go for a traditional tea ceremony. But in hindsight, I guess tea ceremonies can be quite expensive, right? But the thing is, we felt kind of used because it was quite obvious that they took us to their tea shop and then we ended up buying loads of teas even though like it cost a fixed price to buy one tea and get it refilled but they were like oh you should try this you should try this you should try this to be honest herbal teas more or less are all very fragrant and taste really similar so we tried all of them and like by the middle of it i, I knew what was happening they were just trying to sponge us for all the cash they weren't going to pay for anything it was like their tea shop but like you don't really want to like cause a scene slash we were in their tea shop which was down a few like side roads and i in my head like the worst case scenario could could be bad so i didn't want to cause a scene or be like storm out and say we're not going to pay for it because you know in china like they do business like the toughest in the whole of the world and i don't want to i just didn't want to get into it, did i we ended up paying about 20 25 pounds each to be honest, they wanted to get as much money out of our pockets as possible. It's really good that I only take a fixed amount of cash and no credit cards when I go out into town because just in case you get stopped somewhere or you get forced at gunpoint, let's say, the worst case scenario. And in this case, it was a really smart move because they were like, oh, you surely must have more money. I'm like, no, you can look in my wallet. And there was nothing more we gave as much as we could pay because we couldn't pay the whole bill. You know, which was, um, which really me off actually because I felt really used and I've never been put in that situation and the worrying thing is it could have came out a lot worse so what my point is maybe not in the Philippines but especially in China in the big city like in Shanghai like I'm talking about just be really wary about innocent looking girls coming up to you and being really friendly and asking for like really obvious things but in hindsight might be too obvious and you know what and if you're really going to be like adventurous and risque why don't you play along with it as long as you can go into the tea shop try to sit down read the situation and be like oh maybe maybe i'll pass but in all fairness the tea ceremony was a tea ceremony it was really traditional and maybe that's just how much a traditional tea ceremony costs 
when you want to be accompanied by authentic locals? I don't know. But this scam has been written around on forums so many times. We were warned about this on arrival in Shanghai. So take everything with a pinch of salt and enjoy your time abroad. Try to learn as much as you can. But remember, for a lot of people who don't earn a lot of money, they see a white guy from the from the country where modern economics was developed or, or something like that and they just think we can pay for everything and that's not the case i came to this country to the philippines for instance because i want to get more for my buck i went to savashina health massage spa and then i ended up going out with like the girls from the, the masseuse place in the bar they ended up kind of wanting me to pay for like the whole bill i was like no you know, I'll pay for half of it. Like, there's three other girls. I'm not paying for everybody. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, like, you've got to stand your ground a little bit, to be fair. But, oh, by the way, they took me to a gay bar. And I thought I'd put that down under an experience, because what else can you call it but an experience? Broke a lot of ice with them, to be honest. But stand your ground when you're on holiday, guys. Don't be taken as the mug. Because when you get left with no money, you won't be worth anything to anybody.